Christ, I'll do a good job protecting her. She's my future wife. Whoa. Says who? Hello beautiful, this is Romy here and welcome back to Love Ritual. We are here taking a little stroll to relax and think things over, I guess. <laughs> oh, we didn't get to see Kalisith. I really thought we were going to see him. Oh, I was so overwhelmed with all this nonsense that I stayed out for far too late. I'm not even gonna bother with the case for now. I'll do it when I wake up. Oh! Bam, knock on the door. As I drift off into sleep, I hear a knock on my door. I really would rather sleep, but it's better than I just answer it. it but it's better that I just answer it, as it might be important information for the case. Hello? I get up and head towards the door. As I turn the handle, I realize that I'm in my underwear again. As I open the door, I see Seth. Oh! Wait! Why'd I hit him? I don't know what came over me, but a mix of embarrassment due to being in my underwear, my confusion... <laughs> and my underwear confusion from being half asleep and angry due to how he treated me. I end up punching him square in the nose. Oh my god! He came and gave me flowers and everything and a punch hit him. How? I feel even worse when I say that he was carrying a bouquet of flowers as well. <laughs> what is Shinrei doing here? That was kind of rough. As I take a quick look to survey the rest of my surroundings, I realize that Shinrei and some police officers are here. I hide behind the door. <laughs> this is such a cute, cute little scene. This is all a misunderstanding, I swear. I suppose I deserve that after the things I called you, but sheesh, we're just here to give you info on the case. Yes, I'm afraid some terrible news has arisen. Oh, really? Really? Uh, unfortunately, it seems the suspects were indeed innocent or have gotten themselves killed by the third person, which- Wait, wait, wait! They got killed? My perfect nose is ruined forever. Oh, come on, Seth. It's fine. You have money. You can just plastic surgery it. Whichever happened, we suspect that's been a demon summoned by this third suspect. I think he's decided to cover up the tracks. Something frightened him, and he decided to act openly and not cautiously. It's just a disaster. That's right. It could not be worse. As soon as there was hope for their release, they were simply killed. It's horrible. So we know they were innocent, and now we have no evidence from them because they're dead. Motherfucker. My nose is a disaster. Seth, calm down. Just get some plastic surgery. You'll be fine. I didn't punch you that hard. The Inquisition took this matter under direct control. They used to kill... Uh, used to kill. They used to keep an eye on it, but now everything is in their hands. So now what? So what now? Sorry. The Signor's lawyers are temporarily suspended from business in connection with the death of their clients and with the transfer of the case. So we already filed an appeal. I do not intend to lead this case. Yes, I would like to restore the honor of the dead. This is all that we can... Ooh, fuck, I feel guilty now because I was like not letting them leave. This is all that we can do now for their families, but unfortunately here we are powerless. It remains that the only thing we can do is wait for mercy from the Inquisition. Yes, there's nothing to be done, and we, Signorina, rely, remain in business for the time being, if there are no other orders. I understand. It's such a shame. I'm sorry about the dead, and that's not all the bad news for today. I received an order from the Inquisition at the expense of you, Signorina, rely. Excuse me? What could be worse? What good can I expect from the Inquisition? The police will take you under protection for an indefinite time. What? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Why do I need protection? It's an order from uh, it's an order of the Inquisitor to take you under guard. It's not like we will put you behind bars, only to protect you. Only protect you. I'll leave the policeman outside your room and several plainclothes operatives in the lobby. But I do not understand what's the matter. I did not any I did not get any explanations, just an order and a comment, just in case. We think that you might be the next victim. Seth, have you not cleaned your nose off yet? Perhaps all who are involved in the investigation are at risk. The criminal wants to cover up their tracks, and this means you, you have discovered information they did not wish to get out. So my theory was correct, or halfway correct or something. Or perhaps you uncovered something substantial, but did not make the correct conclusions. To be honest, I'm somewhat shocked. What should I do now? Maybe I should leave. Don't worry, just stay in this room. The police and the Inquisition will deal with the rest. Doubtful. <laughs> Kalisat, do not intimidate Rely. I'm sure everything will be fine as she is under supervision. 
mutter something in unintelligible. Say in the hotel relay, I'll ask you to take another look at this matter. Maybe you'll find something missing details. Yes, of course. My life is in danger after all. Thank you. I'll take a look at the notes again. Alright, then you two go get the you two go get the pretty boy's nose patched up because I won't be here all night. Pretty boy's nose. It'll be okay, Seth. Pretty sure. Uh, Seth reluctantly leads with Shen Rei, and the officer gives me the bouquet of flowers they got me before I return to my room. <gasps> oh, it's on my table now. Putting something on quickly, I rush to my notes and begin to reevaluate the case. I can't concentrate, though I can't understand why. What just happened was a shock. It seemed like we were getting so close to the end, and then... What is this noise? How can I possibly think when there's so much noise around? I could hear very loudly Seth returning down the hall. Alright, I'll take the shift over from here. Just go home and twiddle around with paperwork or something. The officer said something I couldn't quite dis dis discern. Clearly understanding, however, that Seth was drunk. What the fuck? Fine, suit yourself. Rely, if I come in, are you gonna punch me again? The bluntness of his statement makes me giggle. <laughs> no, Seth, you can come in if you'd like. No, you're so cute. As he comes in, I notice he's carrying a bottle of wine that must have at least cost him a month of any average working person's salary. Flailing, uh, flailing it about in the wild jesters, not caring if any gets spilled. Well, I thought things were bad, right? I thought I was going to lose the client since I didn't get him out of jail when I promised him I would. But now I've literally lost the guy because he's fucking dead. I think the best option is to let him ramble for a bit and get whatever is bothering him out of the system. And you know... I yelled at you and everything, and it was kind of wrong, but you can't completely blame me either. And you broke my nose too, that definitely makes us even. You know, I hear a lot of women talk about how great my nose is. It was a pretty good nose, to be honest. Right? Every girl that meets me instantly falls for me because of it. Oh, Seth, your nose is so aptly shaped, and oh, Seth, your... <laughs> oh, Seth, truly your nose is the, the, the epot ep ep epitome of masculinity? I couldn't get away from the compliments if I tried. Hey, so okay, whatever. I lost my client. Fine. I lost my nose. Not fine, but whatever. Fine. <laughs> we're also in. We're also all in danger, though. Not fine. Absolutely not fine. I have years ahead of me being of being a successful advocate and buying stuff. If I die here, who's gonna take care of Signor Snuffles? You really care about that cat, don't you? Wouldn't imagine you were the type to have a soft spot for animals. Are you kidding? I mean, okay, I hate dogs, I guess. And birds and horses. Actually, I hate all animals that aren't cats. But still, cats are adorable. Okay, so it's not your grandma's cat. Alright. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Either way, they remind me of myself. Regal and elegant, and they don't take shit from anyone. Well, he really is a completely different person when he's drunk. He's very open. <laughs> He'll be so lonely if I'm gone. Who's gonna take care of him? I can't trust the maid to do that. I have to be the one. We're like brothers. We have to have each other's backs. Either way, at a time like this, the best thing to do is just get drunk and figure it all out when you're when you sober up. Seth extends his arm as if to offer me a sip from his bottle. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure I buy his mentality of post-hangover problem solving. How exactly does being hangover help you figure out solutions? You'll be so pissed at the world that you'll figure out a solution out of pure spite alone. That's what I always do, and more people should follow in my footsteps. So, be an alcoholic, and then figure out your issues. And if it doesn't work, drink some more, then alcoholism. You know, I have a theory that if we lived in a world of Seths and Seth... Sethettes? <laughs> what? what? Okay, the world would be a much better place, wouldn't you agree? I somehow seem to think otherwise. Anyway, you sure you don't want to drink? Come on, I spent good money on this. It's like my apology gift to you or something. You're supposed to thank me now, I think. Caliseth? I suppose I was so invested in Seth's rather comical drunken speech that I failed to notice Shen Rei coming in. Oh, what the hell do you want? Were you supposed to go home and plant some trees or something? No, we agreed to both come back and ask for Lai who she wanted to stay behind. Oh, wait, what? And keep an eye on her. And here you are with a bottle of wine trying to seduce her. No doubt with the intention of sleeping with her. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, because she's lusting for you day and night, huh, flower boy? At least I'm not a pervert or an alcoholic. You take that back, or I'll, re I'll reanimate your pet's corpse and have them eat your garden. Well, dude, calm down. You're making empty threats because you're drunk. 
I do whatever I want because you're a no rank nobody, Trude, and I bet your own mother probably doesn't know who you are. Well, Seth, you don't have to be so rude. And you're a renowned necromancer, known for your ability to masterfully deceive people, backstab clients into getting money, and leading on girls who like you. None of that is true. Most of it uh, isn't true. Well, the people who de I deceive are just stupid, so they had it coming. If it wasn't me, it'd be someone else. Also, I don't lead all the girls on, only the stupid ones. See, I only take advantage of stupid people, like Trudes. That's really rude, Seth. <laughs> That's so rude. You're drunk, and usually drunk people are very honest, because they can't coherently stop what they're doing. Is this clickable? This is clickable. Wait. <laughs> It's all meaningless now. Anduin supported our initiative to protect you, and I think that you should choose one of us. Oh! That's nice. Now we're keeping it off. <laughs> I don't want to see these two in the daylight right now. Um, To be honest, Seth is real rude right now, but he is the guy I want to go for first, and then Shanray will be next. Even drunk, I'm, be I'm better mage than this herbivore dude. Someone has to stay in the room in case of if the cops screw up again, but we are still suspended, so we have nothing to do. Relies more, relies in more danger with you than with the demon you drunk more on. I promise that I won't try anything perverted. Can't say anything about him. Oh, shut up and die somewhere, Kalaseth. Rely, your safety is what's most important right now. This time, I would agree with the flower boy. Your refusal will not be accepted, so you better choose one of us. I have to pick who will stay behind to protect me. This is an important decision. I should think carefully. I mean, to be honest, I think Kalaseth, <laughs> even though he's stupidly drunk right now, He's very comical. I like his storyline. It's very like silly, even though his personality is like a goofball, like Shenrei. Shenrei is very sweet. Um, Seth, even drunk, he's still he still is the better mage. Shenrei, he looks more reliable. I'm gonna again go with Seth. We'll come back to Shenrei once we finish Seth's round. To be completely fair, since we're under a big threat here, despite his slightly immature behavior, Seth is the more experienced mage. So sorry, Shenrei. I'll come back for you. I'll come back. Hold on. <laughs> he should be the one to stay behind, only on the condition that he takes a potion from me to sober up. Ha! Yeah, I knew it. Of course she picked me. With that line of thinking, I must concede that Rely is correct, given, of course, that he does, he does take that potion. Of course, I'll do a good job protecting her. She's my future wife. Whoa. Says who? Your what? Yeah, well, it's not like I'd reveal my wedding plans previously for no good reason. So are you telling me you fell in love with me at first sight? That you want to marry already? But you just did. Just make sure you take that sobering potion so you come to your senses. We'll be seeing you two around. Keep her safe. I will, I will. Okay, well, bam! Seth route. Well, can I still turn this on and off? Oh, not right now. I'm still somewhat stunned due to Seth's statement, and once everyone exits the room, I take the opportunity to ask him. But before I know it, he's on the ground with a pen. Seth, what are you doing? Well, I'm marking out the runes on the ground, so even if the demon comes here, he won't be able to harm you, my love. <laughs> is he is he sober? <laughs> is he sober yet, or is he really just calling me this? Okay, cut it with the my love this and my love that now. You can't just say things like that. Yeah, I think I must have said it at a stupid moment. But now you know, so there's no point in hiding it, right? You're usually as cold as an iceberg, and you expect me to believe that you want me to marry you. Especially when you're intoxicated. Well, to be frank, it gets awfully lonely in the mansion all by myself. You're pretty cute. Before I knew it, I was buying you things because you're not like the other girls, and you're not impressed just by who I am or how much money I have. I don't even know how to, to win your heart or how to make you interested. Really? Maybe stopping an asshole is a good start. Yeah, I guess I can try this for you. At first, I guess I wanted to prove myself I could get you, but as time went on, I guess I actually grew to have deeper feelings for you, and now, here I am. <laughs> Are you just confessing to me, Seth? Um, I didn't expect it very soon for- well, very soon, I say very soon as we're like at episode 10, but I didn't expect him to try to be this badass and um trying to win me over but it didn't work try to play me like a like a fiddle and didn't work bro 
So, this is quite interesting. It's the guy that's... Uh, well, I guess it's not... I guess in most Otome games, the guy usually... You know, well, no. I was gonna say, most of the guys do like you. And they have to try to win you over. But I think in most games, it's us liking the guy. And then it, it works both ways. Anyway. Anyway, I didn't expect this development so quickly. <laughs> But anyway, here we are. What's that throw? Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.